ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys comparison video. Now, I'm sorry that it's taken me a few days to get this video together, but I wanted to have all of the figures readily available to show you the differences between the Emperor, Darth Vader, the Royal Guard, as well as the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, which I have just sitting on the side of the desk here. I will do a comparison video with the Emperor, because I know a lot of you want to know how this new Emperor figure does scale. Now, I've included the Rogue One Darth Vader, because I know he's number one, a lot of people's favorite Darth Vader figure, as well as one that a lot of people do have. I could have used the Empire Strikes Back version, but I know a lot of people still haven't received theirs yet from Sideshow, so I thought the Rogue One Vader figure would be the way to go. As for size, he pretty much is the same as the Empire Strikes Back one anyway, so that size comparison sort of fills in for that figure as well. So first things first, speaking about Vader, we may as well start off with the Emperor compared to the Rogue One Darth Vader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring each of these figures in to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. That way you see the scale, and that way you see what they look like together. I'm not necessarily going to zoom in and do the full side profile and the up-close head sculpts and all that, but just because these two figures aren't all that related. I only really do that with the figures that are of the same character. So a side profile between Vader and the Emperor doesn't really uh, matter all that much. But as you can see, the scale looks about on point. The Emperor is obviously a much smaller character compared to the towering Darth Vader. And if you do have him in his throne room chair, he's obviously going to be sitting even lower because he's sitting down in a chair. So this is the scale between Lord Vader and his master. Now I swear I need to keep a lint roller on hand for these fully clothed and robed figures because there is just hair and little bits of debris sticking all over these figures. So do be careful with these black figures especially because you will start to notice tiny little microscopic hairs all over this thing. So just as I said, keep your lint roller handy. But anyway, here is the Emperor next to his Royal Guard. Obviously I did show you this in the full review of the Emperor which is up on the channel and do give you a really close and personal look with the head sculpt. But this is just a quick scale between the two and you can see that even the Royal Guard is taller than the Emperor as it should be. So if you do have two standing next to the Emperor, that is going to look really, really awesome, especially if he's sitting in his throne room chair and maybe even Darth Vader hanging around there as well. That's going to be one awesome set to have in your detolf. Now, when it comes to comparing sizes, you can see that this one is pretty on point as well. Obviously, Mark Hamill is a little bit of a shorter dude being the Luke Skywalker figure, as well as the Emperor also being a little bit smaller. So these two look really good scaled together. And as in, they look around the same height, which I think really does work for the aesthetic that we're going for. Obviously, if you do have Luke on the floor with the Emperor shooting his lightning out of his fingers, that's going to be really, really awesome. But even if you just want to have Luke sort of taunting the Emperor, or even the other way around. It's going to be really awesome to have these two displayed together. I thought I'd bring out this Anakin Skywalker figure just because I know someone was going to ask down in the comments why I didn't compare them to each other. And as you can see, they scale very well together. Hayden Christensen must be a very tall guy because he is towering over this little Emperor figure just like the Vader figure was before. So that looks really good, especially if you have these two displayed in your cabinet because I know a lot of people are going to have this as their prequels Emperor rather than their original trilogy Emperor. So just a quick wrap up on this comparison video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how these figures all scale together. I know it was really awesome to have them all in the light box together. I will have them all displayed in the cabinets as well. Just they really complement each other very nicely. Obviously I'll switch out that Vader for the Return of the Jedi one once he eventually comes around to being released slash announced because even on the promo pictures inside the box of the Emperor figure, we do have photos of, I think it's this Rogue One figure or even the A New Hope version. It's definitely not Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi because the buttons are green and red rather than the blue and red ones which you see on those later suits. So it's going to be very cool to get that eventual release of that Return of the Jedi figure. Now, if you are looking for this Emperor, he is pretty much still available on Sideshow and he is shipping around about now. So definitely get your orders in if you are looking for him. Check out the Mint in seal box figure podcast we did speak about this emperor on the latest episode episode four and episode five we're going to be discussing the molecule eight drama and that should be coming up in the next couple of days so definitely do stay tuned to the podcast for that because there's going to be uh, a lot of discussion around sort of latest topics in the one six collecting community as well as my instagram page and facebook that's where i put pictures up of upcoming figures just to give you a quick heads up hella will be here hopefully in the next few days so look out for a bunch of videos on that figure comparing her to the Hulk, the Thor Gladiator figure, and uh, hopefully eventually that Loki when he gets released. But that's about it for this video, guys. I don't want to drag this on too much. So I will catch you in the next video.